Previously on Pop Stars. After weeks of dance rehearsals, countless fittings, and hours of hair and makeup sessions, Eden's Crush finished its first music video. The playfulness and the humor about it with incorporating the guys and stuff, I thought that was adorable. It was so great because I, I got to experiment with a new look and to have fun with it and to become another person in a sense. It's collective, it's a team, we're a team, and it looks great. Tonight, the media frenzy begins. It's off to New York for a whirlwind crush of TV shows, radio shows, and magazine shoots. And they give their first live performance on national TV for Regis and Kelly. Then, in the second half hour of Pop Stars, the girls are whisked off to Chicago where they learn their first single is a smash. 60,000 people downloaded the new single, Get Over Yourself. Their biggest super fan gets the surprise of her life. Then, for the first time, they perform for 1,500 fans who just can't get enough of them. Tonight, the girls continue on their journey as pop stars. It's good for the girls, it's good for the Canada. Don't fall. Don't Eden's crush has been together for four months, and until now, the need to keep their identity secret has kept them out of the public eye. Thanks, you guys. But all of that is changing dramatically. Now that their names have finally been revealed, the girls are ready to face their public for the first time with a visit to KTLA, the WB affiliate in Los Angeles. Does it change your life? It it's definitely changes your life. I think it's changed all of our lives. It is a dream come true, and we all feel very blessed and fortunate to be here. But it is really hard, but we love it. I mean, we love. I I love it personally when I'm exhausted and I have bags under my eyes, and I'm like, this is great. <laughs> what what's the thing? That why did you guys get picked and other people didn't get picked? It's can we interact in, within a group? Can we work with each other? And will we work as a group, not as a, a soloist? You know, yeah. can we work together? And I think that we all do really well, and I think that we all knew that from the first day that we met each other. With the KTLA appearance behind them, the girls from Eden's Crush get ready for a bigger challenge, a two-day media tour of New York. We're gonna be on talk shows, on the news. We're gonna be in the public eye. And I am not gonna worry about anything. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm just gonna be happy and enjoy every moment. The girls' two-day media blitz is just starting. The record label has chosen New York as the first city on the Eden's Crush promotional tour because it will expose them to the largest audience possible. And what better way to start the tour than at Z100, the most listened to radio station in the country? You know, it's weird. You can, like, spot stars when they walk in. They walk the walk, and they talk the talk. And, um, and the song, I think, is amazing. Um, it's definitely a song we'll be playing here at Z100. At the station, the girls meet up with one of their old competitors, disc jockey Greg T from the New York auditions. No, I, I, I've got to admit that I'm, I'm very, very happy for all of you. Very proud, you know, a little, I, you know, I'm a little bit angry, a little bittersweet. I can't be all happy for you. You know, I mean, you probably don't recognize me. I had a little... What a girl wants, what a girl needs. Oh. Whatever makes me happy sets you free. Finally, the big moment arrives. The girls' very first radio interview. Z100, New York's number one hit music station. My name is Paul Cubby Bryant. You've seen the show on the WB. Pop Stars is the show, but the name of the band is Eden's Crush, and they're here right now. Welcome, ladies. Hi. Thank you. Oh, it's good to be here. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So this is like your first radio interview. Yep. Yes, yes it, is. it is. Wow, and you're doing it, it in New York City, baby. Oh, cool. Yes, we are. That's so right. Right. Thank you so much so for amazing. having us. We're so excited to be here. It's an honor to have you ladies here. Were you nervous being in front of a bunch of radio station, you know, suits and ties? A little bit, but you guys seem really warm. Yeah. So yeah. then I wasn't. It kind of went away. Yeah. Definitely nerve-wracking at first, especially coming from New York and knowing Z100 and knowing yeah, where you, I was. You grew up here, right? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you sing a little... Get Over Yourself, the new single on Z100 New York City. Okay. All right. Sure. Get over yourself, goodbye. Goodbye. It must be hard to be you, yeah. Living in your life, I was always the one to cry. 
The girls are a big hit with everyone at the radio station, a sign that will bode well for them when their album comes out. Next, the girls rush off for an interview at the WB's New York affiliate, WPIX. We are late. We are late. Let's go. Okay, does anybody know where the entrance is? While the radio interview went smoothly, going on TV presents an added challenge. You can't help but be conscious that the whole country is like watching you and you're like, I hope I don't sound stupid. And my biggest concern is looking stupid on TV, to be honest. All right, ever since these girls were toddlers, these five talented girls dreams of making it big now. Anna, Maria, do I have M Male? Miley? Miley. Miley, there you go, I'm sorry. Nicole, Yvette, and Rosanna have made their dreams come true, and they've been selected to become the next pop stars. Welcome, girls. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. What is that like? You're cooped up the five of you in a house, or? Yeah, we live uh, in a Just beautiful working. house in California. We're very busy. Mm -hmm. We have a great time. Can you show us a couple of dances? Oh. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, you get one rather smoothly. Mm -hmm. It was only a few seconds, pretty brief. We taught them some dances, we had a little bit of fun. Short and, and sweet. Short and sweet. Now we're headed to the YM shoot. It's late afternoon and the girls have just arrived at the photo shoot. But before they even have a chance to finish their makeup and hair, another interview is squeezed in, this time with Access Hollywood. Is there any way to prepare yourself for something like this? During interviews, people do tend to ask a lot of the same questions, especially with us, you know. As soon as the interview is over, the YM Magazine photo shoot begins. Yeah! Wonderful! But the hectic schedule has finally caught up with the girls. I have to say that New York was a little more tedious and a little more tiring because of the long hours and because of our schedule just being back to back. It was like bam, 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 bam. Every second of the day was filled with something, with a photo shoot, with an interview. It was really exhausting. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> she falls asleep for real. Hmm. She's asleep. Honey. Nicole? Yes. <laughs> what? It's okay. How is, are we going? Yes. Okay, what do we do? I literally fell asleep. I think I actually started dreaming. I felt really cheesy though, because I was like, where am I? And I realized I was in a, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in a photo shoot and I just fell asleep. The first day of Edith's Crush New York Media Blitz is finally over, and even though it was a huge success, the girls are exhausted. But they will have to save some energy because their biggest moment is yet to come. Their first live TV interview and performance on Live with Regis and Kelly in front of seven million viewers. And they meet a special fan who puts their new fame into perspective. <laughs> You've made our day. We were a big She's our person. Yeah. 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 Crush has been a big hit on their New York media tour so far, but now it's time for their most important appearance of the trip, their first live national TV show with Regis and Kelly. As the girls arrive at the studio, they get an unexpected treat. A group of fans are waiting for them. What's your name? David. Thank you. People really want our picture, and just, I guess, being recognized like that is such, it can be kind of overwhelming, you know, you're thinking, a lot of people think that this group is really cool, and I guess I was just really touched by that. While the girls would love to stay with their fans longer, it's time for them to head to the set. Ladies, let's go inside for rehearsal. Okay, great. Hi, Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Michael. I'm the girls are introduced to executive producer Michael Gelman, who gives them the lowdown on their segment. We have it scheduled for about three and a half minutes. Sure. Three and a half minutes. But yes. it could end up being 30 seconds, depending, depending on, how, on how, much, it goes. how much time we have. Yeah. That's right. I'm going home, and I'm going on all these things. Why don't we just stay? I'm visiting the places that I grew up watching. It's so unreal. Okay. No. Oh, goodbye. I know I'm going to Regis. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then I step back and go, I'm going to be on Regis. <laughs> the rehearsal is over, and if the girls are nervous, they can't show it. I'll just come back. Because their first live national TV appearance is about to begin. More pop music. Pop music, we can't get enough here. Uh -huh. Two months ago, there was a nationwide talent search. 3,000 girls showed up. 
and vied for the chance to become the next singing sensation. And we have the winners. Yes, they're here to perform their single, Get Over Yourself, and making their first national talk show appearance is Eden's Crush. <laughs> Myself and every magazine said his music's on the shelf. I was giving out, giving in, giving away my dreams. Why I put it down, put me down. Now I got myself a seat over yourself. But now you're all getting along because oh, I've heard. Yeah. I've we heard can, we are. <laughs> what have you heard, me just You've heard the wrong thing. Five just, women who I just mean, met each yeah. other living in a house together? We definitely get along, but we have moments where we're kind of like, okay, give us our space. No kidding. When did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> like, yes or no? I'm just kidding. No, I mean, it happened, you know, only we're like sisters. Second. You know, we get along. Sometimes we don't. We need space, but we, we're very honest Overall, with each really, other. How many bathrooms open. did that house have? Three. 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 Three, Three yeah. and there are five of you? Actually, yeah. there's two actually between two. The, yeah. the five yeah. of us. Oh, my. This is your first talk show. Yes. So yes. All right, well, Eden's crushed get over yourself. The media tour is finally drawing to an end. The girls' last stop is a photo shoot and interview for Twist Magazine. During the shoot, they meet Shoshana Schwartz, a fan whose contest essay won her a chance to spend time with the girls. I'm very excited to be here. A little nervous, too, but mostly excited. Shoshana gets a chance to play reporter by asking the girls a series of questions. How did you feel when the judges told you that you made the group? Meeting Shoshana and just having her be there and kind of share that with us was really special because none of us were expecting it. And she was, she came in and she was so quiet and just, you know, looking around at everybody. And it, I, like, I was totally shy like that when I was younger. She was just so enamored by us and who we were that it felt like, oh my gosh, some, there was a girl out there. There's probably hundreds or thousands, I don't know how many there are, but this was our first taste of it. And the fact that she got to interview us and ask us questions made her day. Look at me. Before Shoshana leaves, the girls take some time out to speak with her one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm like, do you like high school? And she was like, no. And she would look at me and I was like, she's like, nobody likes me. No. And she started giving me this speech. I remember what it's like to be in high school and to not feel like a million bucks. You know, it takes time to grow into yourself. It takes time to become who you are. Being 14 is not the easiest thing in the world. There's only one of you in the entire world, and you have something completely unique to give to people. So just remember that, okay? There's only one Shoshana in the entire world, and that's a very special thing, okay? So don't forget. Thank you. Take things a day at a time, and believe me, things will happen for a reason. If you think people don't like you, you know what you're thinking? You, they're probably jealous that you have the best grades, the best grade, prettiest hair. You know? Meeting Shoshana has made all the girls' hard work during the New York trip worthwhile and given their first big fan an experience she'll never forget. When Pop Stars continues, the girls head back to L.A. to record the final song on their CD. And on the last day of recording, Rosanna loses her voice. My voice is given out for the second time. So I'm not happy about that at all. With the media tour behind them, the girls are whisked back to Los Angeles to record the final song for their CD. For no drama, they go into the studio with producers Chalk Daddy and E. Doc, known for their work with Christina Aguilera and Samantha Mumba. Recording the final song is an emotional experience for the girls. One night, Miley said something to me. She's like, look, we just have to come to the facts that in the studio, you've been very blessed and very uh, successful with getting a lot of the leads in singing 
parts of the song. And we just have to get over uh, you getting whatever you've been getting. If you always bring me down, then you gotta go. Go! Oh, oh, oh. I kept saying to her, this is gonna be a hard process because there are probably gonna be people, could be me, could be anybody else, that are gonna say, why is, is this person getting all the leads? I said, you can't feel guilty for that. Whatever you're being chosen for, there's a reason for it. And there's no reason to feel guilty for it. Despite Miley's support, Nicole still has difficulty with the situation. No! Is that my right note? That's probably the hardest thing for me in a group is to deal with that because you're in a group with four other girls that you live with and you're with 24 seven and you just don't want to upset anybody. And you want to be a team player, but at the same time, you don't want to hide yourself and what, everything that you have in here and you still want to display that. For Ana Maria, finishing the album is a big accomplishment in more ways than one. It's the first time I've been out of that environment, away from my mom and dad and my sisters. And um, I think, as just as a person in general and um, as an individual, I think I've grown inside, learning to just be on my own. Always bring me down, then you gotta go. For Rosanna, the challenge of recording the album is a familiar one. We're doing no drama, and my voice is given out for the second time during my whole course here. So I'm not happy about that at all. I don't know what's going to happen. I was told that maybe I could record my part later on, and it's not like we have a lot of time. What do they call it? Personal steam therapy. Call me. Call me. Call me. that you got Timing. Right. Call me. Yvette has found recording in the studio to be the most difficult challenge since joining the group. I've always been a performer, but the Yvette that started the album didn't find the transition between performing on stage and using those tools in the booth. It was a scary thing for me. I was insecure. I knew that I could do it, but somehow I had that red light syndrome that David Foster likes to call it, is when you're outside the mic and you can absolutely wail and do it, and then when once you have to record, all of a sudden there's something that happens where it doesn't come out right. Best to me, best to me. Best to me, best to me. Yeah. Is that in the right place? Like a vet, Miley also found recording the album to be frustrating at times. I think there was a part of me that thought that I didn't get to the level that I wanted to because I'm a perfectionist and I really like to work my craft as, as hard as I can. And, you know, it's never good enough. You know, you always want to continue and get better and better and better. And, um,. I don't know, I just, I think maybe towards the end I was really starting to think to myself, God, I could, I could be better. I could be working so much harder than I already am. There were people in my now in this very short two month period, I, I, I've seen them grow so much and, and it's just great to watch them come in the studio now and they kind of automatically know sort of what they're supposed to do on the song. Fortunately, Rosanna's voice returns and along with it, her confidence. I feel a lot more confident as a singer. I feel a lot more knowledgeable as a singer. I feel like if I warm up and, you know, I start to practice my, my parts, and I can do them and feel secure in them. And that's a big achievement. All of us improved. I mean, I listen now to the first song that we've ever recorded. And I look at all of us and think of the last song which we just recorded and think we've grown so much. With the last song complete, the girls get a very special surprise, a finished copy of their first single. Oh my God. Oh my God. I didn't know they would really be really real. Yeah, no, they're freshening off the press. I can't 
You know, once we were done and once all my stresses had gone away about, you know, being able to perform, you know, David Foster came in and James came in and they were like, congratulations, you guys, you've just finished your first album. It was like the heaviest and the lightest words I'd ever heard, you know, like... By finishing their debut album, Eden's Crush has completed a major step in their goal to become pop stars. But there's still a lot more work to be done if they want to make it to the top. Coming up in the next half hour on Pop Stars. In Chicago, the girls learn that their first single is a smash. 60,000 people downloaded the new single, Get Over Yourself. Their biggest super fan gets the surprise of her life. Get off my band! Then, for the first time, they perform live for 1,500 fans who just can't get enough of them. I got these, like, kids going, ah! When Pop Stars returns. Yeah.